Hello everyone. Um, today, uh, I would like to show you all uh, this new software by Adobe called Adobe Character Animator. Uh, this one is 2023 product uh, uh, software. I uh, just installed it. I have never used it before, and. Uh, uh, was just, I was actually looking for Adobe Animate and this popped up and got installed and this looks like a very interesting uh, software so I do ha I have a Creative Cloud membership so I do have access to many of the Adobe softwares this was one one of them so let's go ahead and see what this software has to offer and what this mainly does is uh, with the uh, webcam you can actually it records uh, you and then it it, it applies those um, expressions to the character so um, I have currently pro open but so this is the main screen when you open up the software it does come in starter mode and uh, pro mode and it does have some puppets in the library that you can just start and start using <clears throat> it um, under see more it takes you to a website which is a library some of them I, I believe that you pay to get some puppets you can also make your own and um, you know and I need I will research some more to see uh, what other what extension of puppets it takes that you can import for example, right here at file, you can actually import uh, some, um, um, you know, we'll, I will see what, because the puppet, you can actually make puppets and um, some of these features are in, are limited in the starter mode and then they become active in pro mode. So let's go ahead and see some of these puppets in the starter mode and then see how they act and uh, and then we'll see uh, what the pro uh, has to offer so let me go ahead and start with this mark starter so here it is so to the top right you can see my webcam is on and uh, I have it's uh, it's pretty bright my webcam but uh, let's see if I can um, make it a bit dimmer and um, the access to this one okay so right there right there and I do need another light up in the front so let's see if that works and before I get to that let's see if this I need to okay so this one is too much so let me make that probably less too okay so uh, so to the top right you can see that myself and you can see that as I blink close my eyes the character is off as I look to the left as I look to the right the character is following me and it's also lip sync so if I do a record record face and voice and we'll see <clears throat> right now it is recording uh, and it is taking expression so with my eyes closed with my you know eyebrows it's moving the lips are sinking if I look to the left if I look to the right it will actually does that look to the up look to the bottom it does uh, follow it and whatever you say it it actually does a pretty good job so to all you out there this is me mark and uh, just wanted to give you all you know a uh, heads up on what's coming up in this video and what's coming up in the later projects so uh, that's all for today so let's finish recording and let's play it and let's see what it does so I can so now that you have this video do you see it to the right they say drag and drop triggers to the timeline and there is a timeline at the bottom so as you play it 
so it is actually let me see if I can um, mute the audio to my system and see like hey so I can do that and uh, I can you know I can bring cup to myself gesture left you hey so I can wear those glasses that actually hangs to the neck around the neck so it is hmm stinking squint happy angry furious glasses okay so let's play and let's see if we need to add any of these gestures so let's see one more time this is okay so let me give it a pie so okay wait let me so here so now if I play it's holding the cup oh and that it goes away so I can extend it to where it's holding the cup at all times So now it's because it's introducing right here, I can put like this gesture right there and I can get rid of this one. So this one, I can just make it a little longer. So let's play and like this. Oh, no, this is a phone. I don't want that one. I wanted the other one. I wanted this one right there so let's see and let's see and let me trim that to where this one wait let's see okay so let's see right there so let's see see and I can just extend it a little bit And let me wear glasses now here. So let's see. And then carry it all the way to the end. So let's see. So this was a small uh, video project that we have just done and you can see how that I have used some of these features and brought them to the timeline and made the small animation. So to the top right I can export this video in a low quality and high medium, save somewhere and uh, you know uh, and do that. I can also change the background on these. So let's say I'm sta standing in the middle of the stadium right this is me in the house this is me in the canyons Mars sorry and here I am in the canyons uh, in the park the fall season the winter season and uh, here is me behind a treasure chest so uh, you can also change the orientation aspect ratio to uh, portrait mode and a landscape mode and a square and a four by five so this is some things that you can do with just the starter mode and um, there are a lot of puppets to work with you know to use and as you see that some of them have a close-up to their faces like this one right there whereas some of them are a full figure so in a start in a in a starter mode that's what it is but when let's go to your pro mode in pro mode there are some example puppets right there and it does you know show you how you can start the tutorial their online tutorials so let's pick one of them um, open this is a puppet maker so open puppet maker you can make your own puppet you know so if you click there uh, let's see okay so you can see 
and right there I can I'm just using my mouse to you know and and right there right there here whoa and I can calibrate so right now it's calibrating and I'm moving my eyebrows up and down I'm blinking my eyes and when you see body tracker that actually um, I believe I need to stand at some distance and um, you know calibrate with my arms so see like right here just, just, just doing something but I since I can't see myself right now I um, can't um, uh, calibrate my body but that is something you can do in uh, pro mode so by clicking generate it will take you to um, importing artwork and there you have so um, if I click on the body tracker input so I have clicked that if I walk back and use my you know so it does it will follow see so if you see uh, I don't know if you can on to the top right there are some lines right here that follows my arm so these these are and you can see how I'm doing that and it's moving my arm so to the left to the right it's the same thing it is doing that so but it does a pretty good job with that so this pro gives you a lot more uh, features than a starter mode and this is a mesh mode you can actually see different and um, and uh, the background you can change it does have a stream live option that I haven't tried yet and to the left it's a uh, different uh, you can actually change your hands how they look if they so let me bring that um, to right there so it is pointing you know that's me doing you know and uh, whoa to so there are many things you can do with pro make a timeline add triggers to it change the backgrounds probably add a sound file in the back there are many things you can do the stream option up at top record rig and so this is a small overview of this software and many things that you can do with this so anyway i hope you like this video and that's all for the today and I'm really looking forward to um, learn this software more and also also be thinking of how I can make this software more useful and make good use out of it so probably there'll be in the future there'll be some videos where I'm actually using it so stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching